Joining us now from New York is the CEO and National Director of the Anti-Defamation League, Jonathan Greenblatt. Jonathan, thank you for joining us. Uh, the disturbing report putting flesh on what we uh, obviously sense and some hard numbers. Maybe some break us down, go into those a little bit because, for example, just one example, where those incidents are taking place is one of the most disturbing uh, aspects of the increase, not just the number. Yeah, I mean, the numbers are disturbing. The location is disturbing. The intensity is absolutely appalling. So the data, as was reflected in the kind of the lead-in, 8,873, 140% increase over the prior year, which was the previous high. And keep in mind that that number that we saw in 2023 was almost 875% greater than a decade ago. So we are talking about not like some wave, we're talking about a tsunami, again, that has no parallel in the 45 years that we've been tracking this information. So, yes, you saw these incidents happen. Uh, there was a concentration in communities with high numbers of Jewish people. There's a relationship, a correlation between Jewish population and anti-Semitic incidents. But I think what's maybe more salient to talk about today is it's happening on college campuses. It's happening in public places. It's happening in private workspaces. It's happening everywhere. And look at these images. I mean, when people think that waving a Hezbollah flag makes you a freedom fighter, it doesn't. It makes you a complete idiot because Hezbollah is a foreign terror organization. And if you think that somehow targeting Jewish businesses, you know, we saw hundreds and hundreds, more than 400 Jewish businesses targeted and victimized last year. That isn't uh, has nothing to do with the liberation of Palestine that only that only is about intimidating, harassing, and victimizing American Jews. And it's wrong, plain and simple. Well, let's talk about, again, because the report does note since October 7th, uh, the, I would say uh, the, the nexus between when criticism of Israel becomes demonization of Israel, when it becomes the ultimate evil, that seems to justify any uh, action that can bleed over into anti-Semitic uh, activity. So defining anti-Semitism, especially in context of Israel, and then how to combat it. Look, like where I would only slightly disagree with the reporter's lead-in, anti-Zionism is anti-Semitism, plain and simple. And I don't need Congresswoman Tlaib to lecture me on Jewish vulnerability. Thank you, no thank you. Like, here's the reality, right? If you're saying from the river to the sea in front of a synagogue, if you are chanting free Gaza at people walking to Shul on a Saturday morning, if you are screaming about decolonization, to, again, a Hillel student going to a Havdalah service, you are not a freedom fighter. You are not some kind of social activist. You are an anti-Semite and a bigot, plain and simple. Now, it isn't new for events in the Middle East to trigger you know, spasms of violence here, but let's not blame it all on Israel. Let's not blame the victim. In 2022, which was the previous high point, the state of Israel, as you know better than I, had a coalition government that included Arabs and Jews, Muslims and uh, non-Jews. I mean, the truth is, is that anti-Semitism thrives in an environment where conspiracy theories run amok. And it literally feeds off of the kind of hate that, you know, non-state actors like Hezbollah and Hamas and state rogue states like Iran promote and propagandize with relentless efficiency. Right. So uh, the, I guess then, then the report then brings us to the question of what should be done and how can the American Jewish community, which itself is divided on some uh, issues, can come together and be eff effective counterweight uh, in order to uh, deal with this trend, which, frankly, we could see is sort of shaking maybe the foundation of America, the American Jewish community. Well, I'm so glad you said that. So a couple points. Number one, I will tell you, in my eight-plus years of running ADL, I've never seen the American Jewish community so united. There may be differences of opinion about Bibi Netanyahu. There may be differences of opinion about Joe Biden. There may be differences of opinion about Donald Trump. But American Jews, from the most observant to the most secular, from those on the right to those on the left, old and young, are all in agreement that this uh, environment of anti-Semitism is completely intolerable. And that they stand behind the state of Israel. So what should be done about it? Number one, we want, as the president has done, governors to launch 
state strategies to tackle anti-Semitism. Ron DeSantis has done it in Florida. More should do it. That's number one. Number two, we want our allies to show up once and for all and to stand with us. And then number three, I got to say, I need every American Jew and non-Jew to be activated because here's the deal at the end of the day. Anti-Semitism is not just a Jewish problem. It's an American problem. It is a symptom of a sickness in a society. And if you don't address anti-Semitism, the hate underneath it will overtake everything. So Jewish or non-Jewish, all Americans need to step up, need to get in the game, and need to fight back against this hate once and for all. Right. Anti-Semitism, they use the metaphor as the, usually the canary in the mine shaft, a symptom of a much bigger problem in a society. Uh, Jonathan, yeah. Yeah, Jonathan Greenblatt from ADL, thank you for joining us on I-24 News.